Peace. So let's get into this tea. We about to get into uh, voice for the my good sis voice. Carmen gets laughed at by Corey. I don't know. Let's get it. Carmen's boo big boogie exposed by a third woman who is a reality star on Baddie Central. The girl claimed that her and Big Boogie has been together for two plus years and that she recently found out Big Boogie was messing around with Carmen via internet. Now since then the reality star has been dropping receipts confirming that her and Big Boogie was indeed in a relationship. He DM'd her saying, nah she don't, I'm grown but if you be my down low you be then stamp it. The girl said stamp, as long as you treat me like one though I don't want you to treat me like them other females that come and go. If you cool on that i'm yours papa big boogie responded understood that's my p for life now then she shared a text message between her and big boogie it says the natural me do i need to cancel my flight then the girl captioned the text message it says but do he love you carmen i'm ready to troll then another dm between her and big boogie says he said what you mean change she said my clothes he responded lol why you say that and she responded back they keep trying me and then big boogie said well you belong to me you know what to do then the girl posted up a picture of carmen and big boogie recently she said when a dude post ish like this but in your guts in real life and on your line in real life oh damn if boy f you and her respectfully done being silent i'm deleting that ish lol i'm not even about to play on this internet because see i never care for clout when you genuinely love and care for someone who cares to post up when you enjoying that person in real life i got hella pits and videos and text messages and voice messages and all but do i care to tell the world no i got two years of memory i could care less about a clout mfers can continue to chase congratulations miss youtuber so I don't think y'all are aware of that Boogie has already said that's his show. He's the wizard. He gonna do what he wanna do. And y'all know Karma gonna go along with it. So I'm guessing Big Boogie recently saw her messages that she posts. So he reached out to her via DMs. He said, what's your number? Cause you got me effed up, thug. I just woke up, seen your number. Then she took a screenshot of his DMs and she captioned it and said, how you block it? And then asked for it again. Ask Carmen Goofy. Now Big Boogie did respond because since day one did drop the receipts first, shout out to her. Y'all blogs ain't stopping nothing or talking about nothing. Who cares what y'all posting? We don't for sure. Life goes on. At this point, I I feel like Carmen already know what she's getting into when she's messing with a rapper. She knows yeah. she's not the only one and I don't think she cares. I think she yeah. would have came out by now. This is the third girl. And Car I don't think she give a damn. Carmen has yet to speak out about anybody. She's been throwing a little shade here and there, but outside of that, she's still with him. And I think that's why the girls are upset because she's the main girl being shown and he confirmed that they are indeed together. And these girls are upset. Either you're going to play your position behind the scenes or you just leave. But exposing the situation ain't going to change nothing because Carmen is not leaving. Obviously, how many girls need to come out to realize that? Y'all leave your comments down below. Let me know what y'all think when it comes to that. Corey did react to Carmen not being the only woman in Big Boogie's life. Uh -uh. Stay on that side. Listen, when all this shit unfold, I swear to God, stay on that side. And that's all I'm gonna say. Fuck that. Stay on that side, bitch. <laughs> I see. I don't think. I don't think Carmen won't Corey back. <laughs> he it. It don't bother me. But you keep coming to the same shit. And I'm looking at my screen right now. The most sent and all these little shit that pop up on TikTok live. They goofies. Yeah, but no. I need it. No, dead ass. I need it. Come in the same shit. I swear to God. All right, but anyway. All right, so cool. Why y'all be so caught up with my ex? Like, y'all be more focused on that shit than me. I be seeing y'all in the covers and shit. I be, I know y'all fans. Listen, I know y'all fans and shit, but bro, God damn, y'all be on that, that. What the hell wrong with y'all? <laughs> what the fuck? I got a whole girl, bro. Like, y'all be so caught up on my ex, boy, it be ridiculous. Like, that's an ex for a reason. It's an example of what not to get, to get no more. <laughs> Who the fuck is... I don't want to be reminded about no goddamn example, man. Leave me alone. I get it. I went through that shit already. Leave me the fuck alone. Y'all be tweaking. Bitch called me Diddy. That crazy. <laughs> Lord, Jesus. I can't never get over that one, boy. Bitch called me Diddy. <laughs> Ah, uh, anything for a viral moment, bro. I swear to God, dog. Motherfucker seen that man Trinity. Just happened to call that nigga Diddy. <laughs> I fuck with it, though. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, dance the party up. Y'all are funny as hell, boy. Queen Aja responded to someone that... That was it. <laughs> 
This nigga core man saying the same shit. Ask, this is the real question. When are you going to actually decorate CJ's room and give it more of his personality? The kid's room is so plain, but y'all stay shopping. Queen responded, one, why are you pocket watching? Two, CJ love his room the way it is. Three, why are you as an adult thinking of a child's room? Y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. Shy the Greatest recently turned 24 years old and after she posted her birthday pictures, people started roasting her saying that she looked old and that the pictures are not it. Please take these pictures down. Her outfit and hairstyle look horrible. Well, Shy the Greatest did respond to someone's comment. They said, do you know your birthday shoot is all over TikTok? People are saying that your pictures are horrible, but they look beautiful to me. Shy the Greatest Appreciate the uh, gifts up, bro. Spotted. I'm all over my birthday. MFN underscore gifted a tier one sub to Bribably. They have given 60 gift subs in the channel. Photos are going viral. Good press or bad press, it pays bills. I also don't care what people think about me. I know I look the fuck good. So good that my crush asked me to send the photos to him separately. I love myself. Dub is not feeling people saying his girlfriend is only with him for money. You know what really bothers me? What? If I'm with like a bad female, right? And people would be like, oh, he's paying her to be with her. Mm. You know how cheap I am? I will literally tell a girl when we go out to eat, don't order no drink. <laughs> don't order, uh, get a water. Because you paying for that. And I... Stand on that. Nah. He only saying that because he don't really drink. I got the bill, Honestly. but that you get a Shirley Temple, you're paying for that. I literally <laughs> tell everybody, I'm not gonna pay because this right here costs three twenty nine. This whole thing, right? You think I'm gonna pay four twenty nine for you to get this little cup? Congratulations to Karina and Flo. They welcomed their baby girl into the world. Lodi came by to support Flo and Karina. Also, Jazz show love and congratulate Flo and Karina as well. <laughs> when y'all supposed to eat the umbilical cord? Eat the ability cord. Yes. That's like what are you talking I'm about? about? I'm about to, I'm you finna go back to the front. Sorry. <laughs> eat the ability cord. Umbilical cord. The cord. Um, eat the ability, ability of cord. cord. I mean, cord. Oh, God. I ain't doing that. Baby, oh, that's how baby eat. Yeah. Uh, I'm finna say the baby won't be eating it. We gotta eat that. Dang, <laughs> bro. Uh uh. I never heard that. Baby, baby gonna be eating McDonald's. If Eat the ability cord is crazy. How Eat the ability cord. You heard. He was asked this. I've been seeing a lot of people ask me if I'm still 100% vegan because I've been showing you guys uh, me cooking a little bit. And the answer is nope. not anymore. And the reason being is I think I told some of you guys that when I got, you want some more? Okay. And when I was pregnant, I had just like started craving meat and I was vegan for 13 years up until then and I honestly I was just like well I'm gonna just give my body what it wants right now because I'm doing a really hard job of growing a human and I also wanted to make sure Halo was getting the proper nutrients and things he needed still love vegan food I eat it like still mostly all the time it's just if i have like a inkling or craving for chicken or something i'll eat it but i don't eat a lot of meat but it's like if i want it i'm gonna have it and then that's it and then yeah but i just wanted to answer because i've seen a bunch of you guys asking if i still am but um yeah i was looking it up and i see so many <clears throat> women like me who were vegan for years and years once they got pregnant it's like out the window <laughs> He's just a cute with your baby. All right, y'all. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Um, I, I That vegan thing, baby, if I want me a piece of chicken, I'm going to get me one, okay? That sober thing, that's cute. I just, if I want a shot, I'm going to have me one. The beef thing, like if I want me a little beef taco right fast, I'm going to have me a beef taco right fast. <laughs> I just feel as though anything can be done in moderation and you'll be all right. Um, I was vegan for two years now. I eat meat again. Yeah, bro. Like if I feel like doing it, I'm going to do it. That's just kind of it for me. Um, Until I just can't do it no more. Not death. But all right now. Nah. You know. And then I know I, right, I'm, I'm, I right, let me stop. You know, what I'm saying? but let me know what y'all think. Love you. I appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.